Hello, this is Jamie from Randomized User, and we're playing the survival mode of Planet Nomads, which is just coming onto Steam Early Access um, any time now. It's been in closed alpha for ages. I did videos on it ages ago. Ooh, hello, my legs. Oh. <laughs> right, so I crash-landed on a mystery planet. Uh, this is a procedurally generated dealie, but I appear to be in the tropical zone. So, I haven't, as I, say, I haven't played this for a long time, but, but I have just um, um, played around with it a little bit now, just to get used to the controls. Uh, let's have a look. So we're going to try and build a little base. I've already tr I've already done this a little bit already, uh, but we're starting a new game. And already it's some creatures. Huh. Didn't see any of these in my test game. Hello! How are you? Uh oh. <laughs> my first attempt at making friends does not end well. Alright, so this is my um, escape pod, which also um, acts as my sleepy doodah, so I can sleep in there for eight hours and regain my stamina and stuff like that. So this is, this is the survival mode. I mean, creative mode, you can just start building bases and vehicles and all sorts of things immediately. But now we're in survival mode, so we actually have to do... Just get rid of that. We have to do actual survival things. And we won't be able to build vehicles for a million years. So let's actually get going again. And the first thing you'll notice is that the frame rate might not necessarily be um, ideal all the time. Um, the, the build I'm using, 0.5.0, is not quite the one that will be released in early access. Uh, but... We'll see. With the performances, I'm not getting great performance out of it, uh, but we'll see. Oh, gather. Let's um, let's gather some fruit. Uh, fruitage, herbs, and dirty water. And um, food is usually indicated by these kind of firefly dealies. But anyway, let's actually start building a base. I'm going to build it really near my capsule, which is on the minimap or compass thing at the top. So I'll build it here. So it's going to go into build mode by pressing tab. And let's see what I can build. At the moment, I can only build um, base foundations. And the more you build, or the more new things you build, the more you unlock. And this requires um, four frames and four bits of plating. Um, this is quite hard to see. And this is why, I mean, when, if, don't play it in 7, 8, 1280 by 720 because everything becomes unreadable. Uh, but yeah, this is okay in 1080. So let's actually just drag that into my hotbar. And place ourselves, let's do it about... There. You can do this in um, third person as well as first person. I'm actually getting better performance in first person, so I'm going to stick to that. Oh, God damn it! Right, so I use my multi-tool to build. This is actually using up some of my, the materials that, I, that you get given at the start. Oh, God. Here we go. So if you don't actually... I should introduce it. If you don't actually know what Planet Nomads is, it's another one of these kind of... Um, you get put on a planet and have to survive and build bases type of game. Um, but it's... Um, all very much about building modular vehicles, bespoke vehicles using like um, advanced physics and stuff like that. Now, do check out my old videos on Planet Nomads in which we just did a lot of kind of vehicle building stuff. Um, well, there's only a couple of those videos, um, but they're, they're from about like September, October last year. Anyway, we've got ourselves a little foundation. Let's look, have a look in the inventory. Um, you do start with a few kind of like survival things like nutrition and water and f more fruits and healing herbs, but you also get some base materials. You get things like plating, basic frame, electronic parts, and composite parts, all of which you need to build things with. And you get given the, the basics to start with to make it a bit fairer. So back in building mode, or whatever, build vision mode, now um, bio generator has actually been unlocked, so we need to build one of these. Uh, let's just build that on the very corner. We're going to make full... Oh, yeah, let's, let's just actually step off here. We have to make full use out of this um, foundation. I need to, yeah, need to look up a bit. Right, go back to my uh, multi-tool. Ah, there we go. You can see all the stuff that you need in the top left. And there you go. Now we have ourselves a power supply. Um, we press C. And you can choose to switch it off, wire it up to something, but we haven't actually got anything to power yet. And various other things as well. So now we should have unlocked... I've got a third person. Um, now we should have unlocked the 3D printer, which I believe I still have just enough raw materials to make. Oh, <laughs> boing. Uh, right, let's just bung this on. Where should I, where should, where should I bung it? That's slightly askew, but never mind. Basic frame plating, electronic parts, and all that sort of stuff. And now I've unlocked compact um, food and drink machine and a solar beacon. Oh, you've got a jetpack, by the way. <laughs> but fall damage and all that, so you've got to be careful. Okay, first thing we need to do is power it up. So just choose power, connect, and over there, 
I'll just go around the other side. There's the green power line to say that everything's groovy. So now the 3D printer can build all these kind of basic components, um, which like all the, the plating, basic frame, electronic parts and composite parts all exist here, along with a few other things like in more advanced versions as well. So crafting then. <sighs> yes, you need raw materials. Um, well, we need iron and carbon for that. Um, for your reinforced frame, you'll need a bit more advanced stuff. Electronic parts. So there's a lot of silicon, iron and carbon and stuff like that that you'll need, which you get from rocks. Trees give you biomass, which is partially for food and stuff like that. And all that. So I think to start with, what we need to do is go back into here, the building screen, and we want to build ourselves a food and drinks machine so we can actually improve on the stuff that we're harvesting from and bushes and things like that. So what we what we need here is, this is the long list of things. I've got this all written down on paper because I found that was a lot easier. Uh, so to build one of these we need three frames, three electronic parts, two composite, three blah 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 blah. Uh, long and short of it is, my inventory does not contain many of those things. It contains some things. Let's just shuffle things around a bit. But we will need a bit more than that. We'll need to make an extra... We'll need to make some frames for a start, which will require... Um, just having a look at my list. Um, something. Oh yes, there we go. Iron, carbon. Yeah, iron, carbon. And possibly some more things as well. So anyway, let's actually go and explore some rocks. <laughs> yes, rocks. I wonder if we can actually shoot it in there. Oh no. It's not, not having a great time over there, is it? Um, we, we will be able to build weapons at some point. Anyway, let's get our No Man's Sky on for a while. Carbon. This is giving us carbon. Uh, and now it's not. And bottom left, that kind of like hexagon that keeps on de depleting, is, well, eventually your, th your thing will run out when you're shooting and you have to let it replenish. The thin, the thin hexagon around that is your stamina. What have we got? Oh, blimey. Iron and carbon. But my inventory is now annoyingly full. My inventory is not very big at the moment. Well, let's have a look at my survival heejimijibidis. Um, food and drink are still fairly good. Um, don't need any... Hmm, what can I get rid of? Well, I think for now, if you just, like, bung stuff back into base, you can make storage containers, but not quite yet. I think you need to build a couple of extra things first. So let's just... Actually, I don't know how to do tossing. Well, I think I do, actually. Um, let's place down... Drop. And dirty. Dirty water. We can drop that. Ah, and we'll do... That'll be okay there for now. I don't know how the degrading works in this. Oh, well, hang on, which direction were, were my... Was my... Oh, who cares? Let's just go... Let's find some different rocks. Certain kind of rocks... You'll, you'll start to learn that certain kinds of rocks um, do seem to give you different things. Some of the great big rocks that you think are going to be great have nothing. What's that? Oh, I haven't seen one of these. I'm going to tonk it. You'll probably just give me biomass. Oh my god, look at that! Uh-oh. Oh, hello! They're not happy! They're not happy! Shit, there's a flock of them! Oh, piss! Fucking run, lads! <laughs> uh, I didn't realise this could happen. I've got a leg injury! Oh, I didn't realise they were they were vicious! They're, they're vicious shits! Quick! <laughs> I'm in my survival pod. I'm going to press V for third person. So I can have a bit of a look. So yeah, they've gone. They don't like it up, um... Right, as you can see, it's getting dark, and my health is actually quite low. Um, but what we're going to... Oh, it's also raining. God damn it. And those things are still there. So but we're going to sleep. Uh, we are going to sleep. Um, actually, I've just got out. <laughs> Wrong button. You press space inside the capsule to sleep. And there will be a... Well... <laughs> yeah, the frame rate just died there. But yeah, you will get a little um, time lapse if you're outside the capsule. As you can see, my health is mostly restored. Uh, it's not quite light enough yet, so I'm going to just let it grow. Oh, in fact, it's not even dark yet. In fact, maybe it was the bloody... Ah, maybe it wasn't night time. Now it's night time. <laughs> I think it was just dark because of the rain. I have no idea if it's day or night now. Okay, now it really is morning. I'm just about. Um, very early sunrise. Oh, no. Will you sod off? It seems to be they're only brave in packs. Huh. All right. Well, let's um, let's try and get some more raw materials. Uh, there's nothing there. 
Actually, let's let's gather some of this. I think when you gather things, it take it still says gather, but it's kind of greyed out. I think it needs time to replenish. So I actually got quite a bit of food now. That looks like a good rock, unless it was a, it was actually literally the same rock as we 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 didn't was doing before. So there's so I mean as I said earlier, like different kinds of rocks will give up different stuff. And if you find certain pebbles, I'm not sure if this is one. It will actually give you like huge amounts of good stuff all at once. No, that's no good. What about you? Just a case of getting used to these things. Carbon three? No, not too bad. Not getting much love out of these. Oh, my bloody thing depleted. Try that again. Oh, we're going to get a little bit of carbon out of that. I wonder how much stuff I've actually got. Okay, oh, a bit more carbon. So we're getting a, we've got two silicon, two iron, and fourteen carbon. That's not really enough for what we need, so I think we might have to go a bit further afield. There are different biomes, and we seem to be in tropical land at the moment, but if you go north or south in the world, you will start to find... Oh, look, my stuff disappeared! Oh, it... yeah, it gone. So it isn't permanent. I don't know if there's any storage until we actually make some. Okay, let's see if I can actually do anything yet. Um, let's actually go into build... Where's the storage? Compact container there, but it's not unlocked yet. I think I actually have to build the fad machine first, the food and drink thing. So, let's have a look to see what we need. Um, for, we've, we've got the frames. Um, electronic parts. We will need, we'll need one electronic part. Uh, we've, we've got two. Well, that's enough. Um, and plating, two. That's also enough. So we need... Um, what do we need? We need... One more electronic parts. And some plate... No, we've got the plating. There's the mechanical stuff we need. So, two mechanicals and one electronic part. So, I go to the 3D printer. Right. Two? No, I need more iron for this. Um, that's a pain in the ass. And we for that... Oh, we, can, oh, we can't even make that. We need more silicon. So, we need iron and silicon at the moment. So, I think... Since my um, some of my um, stats are going quite down, now is the time to use... Well, let's try the nutrition capsule, because that'll free up some space. Um, we've increased our stuff reasonably, but not hugely. Uh, 81 water, 65 food. Obviously, zero is bad. 100 is good. Um, so we've got... Yeah, we should be okay. We should, we should have space in our inventory now. So let's go... Let's go in a different direction for once. Probably away from those um, killer goats. Uh, checking my landscape. Oh! Uh, uh, I'll try not to mention the frame rates, but sometimes it's just a, it's a bit noticeable. Oh my god! I'm in a fissure. God damn it. Ah! Uh, there we go. It's going to stand on this rock. Oh, I can't. I need to let... Battery depleted? Oh, shut up. Right, I reckon that rock over there, actually. That looks like a good rock. The one that... that sort of thing, the smooth round pebble thing sometimes. Yeah, iron, silicon and carbon. And, and again. And again. See, those rocks do seem to be particularly productive. Whereas the big ones, not so much. What's this over there? Oh, there's more goats. So, we've got to be careful, lads. That's just a piece of crap. We don't want that. Have a look at the landscape. I say it is on low quality graphics. Um, also, some of the trees appear to be hovering. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, on the on the, um, there's, uh, on the higher graphics, there's a lot more kind of grass and cool grass, and the um, things look a, le a lot less like an impressionist painting. So let's have a go. Let's see if we can actually make some more stuff now with what we've got. So we need one electronic parts. We've now got enough of, and we need two of the mechanical things. Just the basic ones. The superior ones require different things. By the looks of it, yes, we can actually do all this stuff. And we send going through the crafting queue and appearing at the bottom in the inventory. So just wait for that to happen. Tum ti tum ti tum. Okay, so we've got everything, I think. I hope so. I think in theory now we should be able to build our food generator. So let's just get up in the air a bit. Seem to be in third person again. <laughs> God damn it. And build ourselves this. 
and go over there. We need electronic. Oh, we need one more electronic part. Hmm. Can we do that? Electronic part. Yes, we can. Another ten seconds. In the meantime, is there any, anything worth? Yeah, let's let's have a bit of a eat of that. It'll take a while for it to let you do that again. And everything there seems to be fine. So. Let's go back to this, get our tool out. There we go. And there we have it. First, we need to power it. So, connect. And now we can do something. We can build, well, we can craft purified water, electrolytes water um, to, for better hydration, nutrition capsules, superfood, meat, and bio paste. Yeah. Food of last resort. Huh. That's using biomass. We have quite a bit of biomass, so we could actually make some of that. But at the moment, we, we're okay for food and drink. So in actual fact, what we really should be doing is um, you building an armory, which has just been unlocked, I think. What else is there? Oh, there's a container as well. Um, I think we actually should build a container first, uh, which requires, uh, what's this, two frames, two plating, and two mechanical parts i said writing it down <laughs> surreptitiously off camera oh right so now we just need to get presumably we'll need to get more stuff because we, we're down to like one bit of plating and we need quite a bit of other stuff as well so it's back out to the rocks i'm afraid mate 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 sod off replenish <laughs> mate there we go. You better run. Oh, almost backed into my base. So I've got a metric fuckton now of uh, stuff by simply by harvesting all those bloody pebbles. So I need to actually make a load of stuff. So let's um, see. We probably need some frames. Probably need two, actually. Uh, add that to the queue. We also need some plates. Oh, that was the plating, wasn't it? That's the frames. Craft some of that. And two mechanical parts. Already all sorting itself out. By the looks of it, you can unlock new queue space and new inventory space. Not quite sure how yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. In the meantime, I can be having a look around. We'll go exploring in a bit, I think. I want to see what's beyond this biome. But first, I want to make sure that I've got a gun and somewhere to put all my gubs in whilst we go exploring. So, Because our inventory space is so piss at the moment that we'll need to just like leave all our rocks and minerals behind, I think. I also need to find out where aluminium and titanium is, and there's other ore as well, such as Xenite, the warrior princess ore, um, and cobalt as well. So, I don't know, I haven't actually found any of those in the pebbles I've used so far. How are we doing? Get some of that, get some of that, and that appears to be the entire queue. So in theory, build ourselves a compact container. Just drag that into there. Uh, that looks nice and compact. Let's see if I've actually got everything. And there's that really crappy inventory that only... Oh my god, there's only 12 spots. Ha! Huh. But on the upside, look at the amount of silicon and carbon I managed to get from that expedition. In fact, it's look, it's, um, it's double stacked now. Um, I, loads of I bloody hell. Those pebbles were very useful. Um, okay, so we also need to build ourselves a, what is it, a, what do you call it? And we'll, we'll, I've also went, I've, I've, I've unlocked something else, haven't I? Reinforced wall corner for base building. Yeah, well, f sod that for the time being. So for, for the armory, we need a load of stuff here. So, what is it, six frames, three plating, four mechanical parts, and four electronic parts. So I guess I better get crafting. Okay, uh, some time later, and a bit more material gathering... Um, I've made myself all the things for a wasp named Doodah, um, which is the compact armory. So, getting increasing use of this um, hot bar at the bottom. Put there we go, and with any luck, I have everything I need: two of two, four of three, four of four, f well, whatever <laughs> stuff. Got only just slightly more than enough stuff, and oh no, we need to power it as well. I'm not quite sure how much power I've actually got left in this thing. 
I'm also very much running out of stamina, so we'll probably have to go kip in a bit. Connect electricity to you. Uh, I think we've still got enough. I think it'd be a bit bastardly if it ran out now. Or maybe, maybe it has run out. Maybe there's too much. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, I think I'm overloading the system. So, I will temporarily turn something off. Probably can turn off the food machine for now. So let's just turn off. <laughs> and with any luck, yeah, um, yeah, there we go. I've now um, got enough power in this. So here's the armory, um, active laser medium, super alm, suit battery, battery, exploration suit mc two. Jetpack, improved jetpacks. Let's have a look at the weapons, though. Mul oh, it's a multi-tool. Can I not make a gun? Okay, um, next thing I want to build um, is a beacon. And now we can always tell where we are um, because of the compass. Um, to get back here, anyway. But I think I want to build a beacon as well, just so we've got a visual point of interest on the map. I don't know how good these are, but we'll put it on my slightly now expanded basey type thing let's put it let's put it there let's see how these work does not need electricity and it's unlocked a few other things as well i was hoping that would happen although i think compact army i think it's actually unlocked the stuff that's already i think maybe that was a, you have a choice of unlocking the armory with either the solar beacon or the fad so we haven't actually got any more things to build uh, which is a shame. So let's actually go exploring now. What I'm first going to do is make sure that my inventory isn't too full of gunk. In fact, I know what we'll do. We'll we'll do some. We'll take some good food and drink with us. I want to get some more water on our travels. But if we disconnect, wait, what's this? What I'm actually doing? That I can't remember what this is. This is the fad fad machine. So we do need the power on here. So turn that on. And we don't need temporarily the armory, so let's turn. God damn it, it's a bit slippery. This turn that off. W with any luck, this is now powered, and let's see what we can actually make. Um, electrolytes water. This is going to be a lot better. We use it one bit of water, two herbs, and one bit of food. And if you can, if that will replenish thirty-five waters and also some stamina as well. I think we need to build this. Craft that. It'll take thirty seconds. Uh, we could also make some nutrition capsules, which will sub sort us out with some food. We need... Let's see, well, how much I've actually... I've got loads of these. I can craft... Maybe I'll craft two of these. That'll take a while as well. That'll um, keep us in food and drink for the whole journey. I'll probably travel either north or south, so we can actually see some biomes and stuff. Um, but probably don't need rocks in my inventory. I'll, I'll be gathering more as we go, so... Ah, no, well, I'll get rid of them. Whilst we're waiting for that to happen... God damn it. Ah! Oh, bag. Right. Let's bung in the rocks. I built one of the, an alm um, in the in the armory, but to to little effect, I have to say. Uh, dirty water, I think that is. Right, I think that's gathered all this stuff. So we now have stuff in our inventory. Let's get out of that mode. I could actually do some dropping into here I think there we go right okay so I can I think I can leave everything to it now I've got some food and drink and everything uh, the beacon is a bit piss it's literally just the smallest bit of light imaginable so that's not going to be great but we'll be able to see it if we happen to be running back when it's dark it seems to be the height of the day now so let's choose let's go north so let's go due north Oh, I'm tired. Well, that's fine, because I can um, use up my three. <laughs> and also use up my four. That Oh, that's that's it. That's increased my stamp. That's everything, all my stats have increased quite a bit, although I am still a little lacking in food. But never mind. So now we're actually going to be on the move. So we will experience some exciting frame rate issues as we go. So I suppose what I really want to look out for is some way of getting things like titanium gold and silver i'm guessing it's like you just have to go into a different biome for that 
So let's um, let's just do a little bit of flying to um, speed things up. Donk into a rock. <laughs> Ow. Oh god damn it. Right, are we still going north? Yes, we basically are. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> the landscape went weird. I'm in a crev. Hmm. We're mystery bush. Let's tonk the mystery bush. No, <laughs> biomass. I should have known. Let's try and get up a bit. There we go. Gather what? Fruitage, herbs, and oily water. Oh, dirty water. Huh. Actually quite useful. Dirty water. I mean, there are great big bodies of water. And lake. I mean, in my practice go earlier, and I started very close to an absolutely beautiful lake, and but I haven't actually seen any bodies of water so far in this one. But there'll be some. And I'm using the um the, the world seed I'm using for this is predictably enough randomized user. Oh, here we go. This looks like something new. Come on, give me some good new minerals. Yeah. Oh, iron. Oh, that's some. <laughs> that's kind of familiar. I should have guessed because it was brown. Oh, that's a nice tree. Hmm, starting to run out of stamina. I'll be able to replenish it a bit. But this journey has not got us into new biomes yet. But look, oh my god. How green is your valley? Right, let's um, eat some of that. That's gained us a little bit of stamina. Any interesting rocks? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab this, see what this is. This is a very colourful tree. Rainbow fruit or something. Fruitage herbs. Hmm, not hugely useful. I'm sliding. I'm sliding down the hill. That's not good. This is a very valacious valley. Is a word. And the valley basin. Oh, hello. There's water. There's a river. Ah, oh, look at that. A body of water. Let's try and get some dirty, dirty water. There we go. I can do that as many times as you want. And you can purify that back at base. God, look at that steep prick. Prick! Oh, that's going to take ages to climb. Oh, there's a little fissure. Let's try and get up the fissure. Actually, let's just have a look at my inventory and see if they've got anything that will replenish stamina. Uh, that decreases... What's that bright symbol? Huh, I don't know. That herbs... Oh, that's health, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I think. I think. Um, dirty water's dangerous, so I best not drink that. We probably will have to head back to base soon, actually. Damn it. Well, this landscape's a prick. <laughs> prick! There's also a goat down there. Hello, mate. I'm flying over you! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I'm rolling down the hill towards it. Oh, sod it. Ah! <laughs> Uh, I'm in the Valley of the Goats. Well, the Valley of the Goat. They don't seem to be interested, though. Yeah, the landscape's gone all rugged. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, uh, okay, what are you? What are you? You've got teeth. Um, and you seem to have lost interest. Oh no, it's it's got an electrical zap. Uh, this is a weapon of last resort, the multi-tool. Is it dead? It is! St stay still. Let me loot you. <laughs> Stop going for a spin. Oh. Okay, let's, let's get around the other side of it. Stop. I command you, body. Uh, <laughs> let's loot his bum. Come. Raw meat. Oh, raw meat. Oh, my first bit of meat. Um, which is go could go towards um, some cooking in my compact fad. I think we should get back to base. <laughs> One kilometre? Oh. Okay, I've discovered what that symbol is. That sun symbol. It's actually this. Um, immunity. Which I mean, think if you actually um, eat all the crappy stuff, like dirty water, um, bad stuff happens. So, I don't know. Maybe I should avoid consuming much more of that. I've got no way of actually replenishing my stamina at the moment. And I can't sleep. I mean, unless I get back to my pod, in, which is in a, one kilometre's time. I also appear to have slowed down quite a bit, which I think is something to do with having no stamina. So uh, I think using the old sort of like um, jetpack running, I think is quite convenient at the moment. Feels like it's getting dark again. Well, there's only 840 metres left. 
and I've seen a new creature. Some kind of shaleback thing. Uh, it's, all, it's all pointy and bastardly looking. Some kind of lizardy thing. I'm getting very slow at the moment. I'm down to 15 st staminas or energies or whatever the hell they are. So I don't really want to be taking anyone on. Look at you. Look at you! Well, I think we can probably just about get make it home before I run out of energy completely. But it's going to be tight. I think we're going to make it. Look, I've got two energy left. And there's the base. Oh, 50 metres left. Come on. <laughs> this is coming in on fumes, this is. One energy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Her sleep. Yes. <laughs> that was close. Back up to a hundred. Although, that might be enough. Is that still midnight? I do probably need, do need a bit of food, though. I could probably do better than what I've... Well, using just eating yet more fruit. So, let's open our food and drink. Let's actually see what we can actually make. Oh, superfood! Using some of the, well, the... The one bit of meat we've got left after I ate some. That's going to take a minute. So, in the meantime... We can also get me making some other stuff as well. We don't have any water. Purified water. Oh yes, we can we can purify some. Let's make some purified water, and then we can make some super water, or whatever the hell it's called. Or s electrolyte water. Oh, bio paste. Yeah. Well, we could... Mm, nah. Don't think it's really worth it. Okay, finally in this episode, um, let's go south instead. And hopefully we'll be able to find some more minerals and things, which will hopefully unlock more stuff for the future. So we have plenty, plenty of energy now. I've um, focused on crafting some stuff. You can see in the bottom right of my three, four um, hotkeys. I've focused on stuff that will actually be able to get us some stamina back where we need it. And the pink water um, will help us in that regard. So this time, hopefully, we'll be able to find some good stuff to harvest. Oh, look, there's another one of these. Might as well get... Might as well stock up. And like last time, I've also bunged everything that I don't need into my storage chest. So if we do die, it's not the end of the world. I should also be on the lookout for these pebbles, which will give us lots of good iron. And... Got you. Oh, look! There's a little body of water down there. Just a really little one. That's just... Yeah, that's just due south of my settlement. So that's that would be quite handy if I ever needed some dirty water. Blimey, this is a gorge and a half. This looks like something that might be very harvestable. So let's just do a little bit of a jet pack of poos. It's make, I'm sure it's making a noise at me. It's making a Brian Eno noise. Iron! Is that it? It's just a concentrated load of iron. Oh, you tempted me down into this hole for nothing. Well, iron. Which is actually quite nice, because you don't get much iron generally, apart from those pebbles. Actually, if you... What's that? Oh, it's another one of these! I'm not sure what it's doing, but let's push it over the edge. Ah! Uh oh, uh, this might be a mistake. Uh... Clonk. Um. <laughs> All right. I've just remembered I've got a flashlight, so that's something at least. What's this? I don't think there's anything. Oh <laughs> no. Oh. This this is a proper cave. Uh oh, don't go down there. That's actually just a tree. Right. This will presumably use something up. I'm not quite sure what. If only I could find some good ore. I haven't found any good ore down here. No, that's, that's just not even anything. Okay, we'll stop there then. Um, since I couldn't get out of that situation. Um, you can respawn back in your original... Um, um, pod, um, but then, and there's also a, like a death marker, so you can go and find your own dead body, or you can actually get you to spawn in a completely new drop site if you want to explore different parts of the planet. Uh, so just to show you, um, you can actually do it in creative mode or survival mode. I've been playing in survival mode, which takes a long time to get started, as you've seen. And creative mode is the one where you can jump in and immediately start building vehicles and stuff like that. So that's a lot of fun. Uh, this is what I explored in previous videos. So yeah, this is coming out on Steam imminently. Um, check it out. It's um, still very early in the in development. I mean, it's been in closed alpha and now it's going into early access. So it's still very much alpha. Sort of 
so that sort of um, area of development at the moment. So yeah, keep a look out for it. Um, I shall stop here. So thanks for watching. This has been Jamie from randomizeduser.com. And check out my other videos. <laughs> Subscribe, like, and all the usual things. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.